every year we make a video spoofing one of the popular medical TV shows. This year we decided to channel untold stories of the ER in this video presenting the case of a toddler with critical mild dehydration. Roll tape. Just after Rose Bowl and I'm working the overnight when a dad brings in his two-year-old with vomiting. It's my fifth gastroenteritis of the night. So I go in to see what's going on. So I understand Junior's been vomiting. Can you give me a sense of how much? Constantly, almost everything he eats. Really? He just looks so good. Mainly in the ED, what we worry about is dehydration. There's four big signs of dehydration to worry about. Overall appearance, sunken eyes, dry mucous membranes, and lack of tears. Each gets one point if it's a little abnormal and two points if it's very abnormal. One to four points is mildly dehydrated and more than four is moderately dehydrated. This patient has some sticky mucous membranes and a little bit of decrease in tears, so at most two points and mildly dehydrated. Just like that. Hmm. Well, what have you been feeding him? Mostly Pedialyte, but it, it doesn't work. I mean, he doesn't like it and he throws it up. Let's try this. Dilute apple juice works just as well and it tastes a lot better. For this age, I like to start with 10 mLs every five minutes, and if he's tolerating it, you can increase. He's at most mildly dehydrated, so we need to get 50 mLs per kilo into him over the next two to four hours. That's about 500 mLs. Here's a syringe. Why don't you guys get started? and I'll be back in a few. There was a paper that came out earlier this year in JAMA looking at dilute apple juice versus electrolyte solutions like Pedialyte. It turns out that half-strength apple juice is not inferior for treatment failures. Children who get half-strength apple juice require less IV fluids, and the diarrhea was not significantly different between the two groups. How's he doing? Go! He still seems to be vomiting. Do you think we need to check labs or do anything at this point? No, let's give him a dose of Ondansetron orally and then let him try it again. Typically, we only check labs if a child is severely dehydrated, if they're a neonate, if their mental status really doesn't match the degree of dehydration, or if they require IV fluids. When my wife was pregnant, there was a lot of discussion about giving her a Ondansetron. Is it safe for Junior? There are a lot of studies on Ondansetron in kids six months and up in the emergency department, a few with younger kids. I start with a really low dose, two milligrams, for children eight to 15 kilos. It's never been shown with a single oral dose in the emergency department to be associated with any adverse events. What we find is the concern that it will prolong the QT syndrome really only happens in people with electrolyte abnormalities, congenital problems with their heart, or who are taking other QT prolonging medications. Okay, thank you, let's try that then. So why don't you go ahead and give him this now. This is the IV form of Ondansetron mixed with some cherry syrup so you can give it to him orally. And then in about 20 minutes, start slowly again with the dilute apple juice. How's he doing? <coughs> oh, he appeared to still be vomiting. He seems to be getting a little bit more tachycardic. At this point, I think we should try an IV. Okay, but the last time we did this, they said he was a really tough stick. Don't worry, our nurses are amazing. We'll give him a 20 ml per kilo bolus of saline and he'll perk right up. My wife was worried he may be hypoglycemic. Would it help to give him some extra sugar? Well, that's an option. The literature would indicate that while using 5% dextrose in normal saline, in the bolus solution yields lower ketones, it doesn't seem to change admission rates. I hear it didn't go so well. Not too great, no. You know, not to worry. Sometimes in this situation what we do is we put down an NG tube and we give Pedialyte through the NG tube. Okay, but won't he just throw that up too? No, no, no. Most kids tolerate it really very well. If we use a five French feeding tube as a nasogastric tube, we can typically bolus 50 mLs per kilo of an electrolyte solution, such as Pedialyte, over three hours. So hard. How's he doing? He appeared to still be vomiting. 
well, don't worry. Uh, occasionally this happens, um, like in 2% of kids and uh, The Exorcist. But you know, what I'd like to try is a little bit of subcutaneous hydration. They did that to my cat and she looked like a hairy watermelon. Is that gonna happen to Junior? No, 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 no. Um, kids have a lot of hyaluronin. So we put in a little bit of hyaluronidase to break up a few of those bonds but it's, and let the fluid in, but it's not going to be anything like your cat. Where does it go? It goes right between the shoulder plates, right into his subcutaneous tissue. So he'll look like Quasimodo? <laughs> Only for about five minutes. And if he keeps vomiting? Well, you know, we can actually continue to use it as a line for maintenance fluid if we need to. Hopefully we won't. Okay. This is a procedure used in mild to moderate dehydration. A 22 or 24 gauge angiocath is inserted into the subcutaneous tissue between the shoulder blades at a 30 degree angle. A 150 unit dose of hyaluronidase is infused through the angiocath, followed by a 5 ml bolus. It's then connected to IV fluids and the rate can be titrated up to 20 mLs per kilo per hour as tolerated. If maintenance fluids are needed, dextrose or potassium containing fluids can be put through the subcutaneous hydration catheter as well. Well, he's still vomiting. I see. At this point, typically, I recommend an exorcism. Let me go get you a priest. Okay. Typically, this is a procedure that we reserve for victims of demonic possession. <laughs> so, you know, I probably should have worked that kid up for innocenception. But in reality, another thing that we could have tried would have been to put in an IO, put a little lidocaine in and bolus in that way, but the kid in the video wasn't going for it. Most of the time, though, a little bit of ondansetron, they tolerate some half-strength apple juice, and you can send them home to finish hydration there. And in the rare cases where that's not working, hopefully this gives you a few other ideas of things that you can try. Thank you so much.